EDF Energy, um, we've, we've had about 15,000 workers in the UK. Um, we are a, a large energy provider. Over the, the past few years, we've had injuries um, from people moving about, from leaving water on floors, people slipping, people falling on stairwells, people mm -hmm. tripping over trailing leads. Um, that's not to say we've not done anything about it. We've, uh, as a company, you know, we've put in quite a lot of control measures, but people are still getting hurt. Um, in some of the business units, we've reduced the accidents by at least 50 percent. Yeah, I think one of the one of the big challenges for EDF Energy was that um, you know we were having when we analysed our incident data, we realised that a lot of our hazards were as a result of slips, trips, and falls, and a lot of these incidents that people were suffering were actually preventable, and we decided to have a massive communication campaign, really tell people what the issues were, um, and then we had some practical activities that happened across EDF Energy, um, in, to which some you, you were involved with. Yeah. EDF Energy, yeah, we've got um, a, a communications group, and um, it's important that we look right across the business and we look at what we can communicate. Over the years, we've done the Shattered Lives campaign, with the HSE campaigns there. Um, we're now looking long-term to see what we can do. And we have a website which is right across the business and that enables us all, you know, to look into to actually what we do and to share best practice. Yes, so the communications group came together, um, which was made up of different people from different parts of EDF Energy. And obviously with that, we've all, we've all got different issues. But the consistent thing being, or the consistent issue being, we are experiencing slips, trips and falls. So we had to make sure that our campaigns were relevant to the part of the business that we were actually working in, or you, we had to make sure that we were communicating to the right audience. So realised that we needed to maybe have a poster campaign just to hit, um, you know, make to make it visual. Um, we also needed to communicate the, the messages through to people that working out in the field via text messaging. We also ran, um, news stories in our in our various company-wide publications. So we use a number of ways to get the message out, i.e. we have a problem uh, and we need to do something about it. So that was the first stage. After that then, we individuals in, in certain parts of the business went off and organised things like, like targeted inspections. We engaged senior managers, we engaged directors, we engaged TU reps, didn't we? and we got everybody together and we used actually the health and safety, the health safety executive slips, trips and falls checklist, which we tailored somewhat just to fit our business. And we used that um, to identify what the hazards were. You know, what, what was it that's actually causing people to slip and fall? We looked at staircases. We also looked at the times of the days yeah. when these incidents were actually happening. So a lot of the time, it, you know, some of the, the incidents happened in the evening. So when people are rushing and trying to get home at lunch times, what we found, didn't we, Tony? And yeah. when we recorded that, we then, um, we did something about them. Yeah, we've detail? used a slip assessment tool, um, the HC one, um, and what that basically does is look at your floor surface, look at how you paint it, look at the how many people use it, also look at what footwear you need on it as well. Other things to think about as well with the environment is, and what Leanne was on about, you know, is, is cleaning regimes. You know, some of the the floor surface, if you mop it, it becomes you know it becomes wet. And um, what we found was at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning, when volume of people is quite large. You know, we were, we were cleaning at that time, so hence you were increasing the risk of somebody actually slipping. We had quite a serious incident in one of our offices whereby a staff member fell down a flight of stairs and they fractured their ribs, they suffered concussion and they were hospitalised. And it was, you know, it was a really terrible incident, but actually when we investigated that incident and we told people about it, we went company-wide and we told every, everyone that, you know, this is what happened. Somebody didn't hold the handrail, they had so much, you know, they were carrying so much and cups of coffee or whatever. Um, and, you know, these are the findings, so take note. Yeah, it's about, you know, getting back to the basics. And if our cleaners are cleaning, they need to put the, the signage out. Um, if people are using the back stairs in case of uh, emergency, our lighting needs to, be, needs to be correct. In the winter periods, if people are walking to the office and we're experiencing icy conditions or leaves all around the place, we've got to make sure that we keep on top of that and we clear everything away. That's where we're going with the business now. You know, we want everybody to report things. We want everybody to do something about it um, with all these initiatives. And yeah, we have reduced our slips and trips in injuries and events. 
Um, but with this, we need to continue with improvement plans. Mm -hmm. We need to continue with the, the safety committees, the health and safety groups that are looking at slips and trips. People's behaviours need to change because mm -hmm. we're still having injuries. Mm. We've reduced it and the severity is less. Um, but, but that's that's why we're taking it. Low cost initiatives, high impact. That's what we that's what we got. Yeah.